During this pandemic, our pets are living a quality life. They have adults working from home and kids in distance learning. But are we setting our pets up for separation anxiety as the stay-at-home orders are lifted? Let's look at what I mean. Separation anxiety in pets can be a complex behavioral condition resulting from physical separation from their guardians or other family members. Sometimes there may be underlying medical conditions. Some pets actually begin to feel anxious while their owner is getting ready to leave. They pick up on signs such as putting on shoes or just picking up the car keys. Pets may exhibit just one or several clinical signs. Following their owners around the house, excessive shaking, salivating, or even drooling. Once the owner leaves, dogs and cats may vocalize excessively. Urinating and defecating in the house is very common. Some pets may pull down curtains, chew furniture, or scratch holes in walls. Obsessive pacing is common. Some will even try to escape their own yard. Treatments depend on an actual diagnosis by a veterinarian or animal behaviorist, first ruling out any medical conditions. Treatments include medications, nutraceuticals, supplements, discussing the issue with an animal behaviorist, a comfort vest which may help your pet feel more secure, and routine changes. The question you may have now is how do we prepare our pets for when we go back to work and the kids are back in school? There are a few simple routine changes we can start now. You can expose your dog to certain cues throughout the day, such as putting on shoes or grabbing your keys. Then just sit and watch the TV or give your pet some extra attention. After a while, the pets may not be associating these triggers with leaving the house. Start periods of working at home without your pets in the same room. Extra exercise before leaving is a great idea. It tires them out and they're less likely to be as anxious. A great way to prepare for extended work days away from home is to start leaving for short periods, each time increasing the duration. A key point here is that the time you leave is always less than the time it takes for your pet to get upset. Make sure your pet is relaxed when you leave. Turn on the TV or radio. You can give them a safe toy such as a Kong with a treat inside. When you return home, it's a good idea to pick up that toy and have it ready for the next outing. For the latest updates on this topic or other pet health issues, remember to subscribe to our VetVid channel.